What is up guys? Welcome back to the Comic Cave. We've got this awesome Judge Dredd complete Brian Bolin art book from IDW Limited. It collects the 2080 run. Aw oh, dude, just seeing this for the first time was just amazing. So yeah. thank you to you for bringing it to us. Apparently yes. limited at 350. Nice. Wow. Signed by uh, uh, Wagner and Boland. Gorgeous um, slip case, uh, the contents of this thing. Man, these are a little pricey on the aftermarket, but I am definitely looking now. Yeah, it's, I was stoked when I saw it. I actually got it from some dudes over at uh, Las Vegas Comic Con. This past weekend? This past weekend. Awesome. Very cool. So I was walking with the homie Nando and uh, stumbled across it. And Actually, something else caught my eye. And when I moved that out of the way, I saw this and I just, I was like, wow, I need it. Sold. Yeah. Cool, let's open it up. Yeah. All right, so right away, slip case and then you get this very beautiful awesome hardcover here opens up there some more beautiful artwork right there and then there it is ryan bolin and john wagner this is number 245 of the 350 so is it, it is 245 and then we got this transparent go. judge predator Opens up, this is the artwork for the cover for Judge Dredd number one um, with Eagle Publications. So yeah. once they started doing it in the US. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. And, and this is a first printing print. apparently. So that was pretty cool. But anyways, little introduction by the man himself. And then we jump right into it. So Mega City. And I like that down here it tells you Mega City 5000 programs 40 to 41 episodes 2 and it's dated. So you can actually, if there is a certain one that you like, you can just go and um, get the, uh, the uh, what do you call it? The original, the, the original issue. Yeah, 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 which is pretty dope, man. Some of these stories are actually really entertaining. Uh, plus, I'm a big sucker for that newsprint. So I love getting some of those. And uh, credit card right here, script robot, John Howard, art robot, Brian Bolin, lettering robot, Tony Jacob. So. So cool. But yeah, man, it's, I mean, there's not much else to say. It's just an incredible piece of artwork. Piece of art, man. Like These stories too are also very quick. They're like five, six pages, I think each. And then you move on to the next chapter. Like this one's already done. Now you're on to the next one. And then chapter two. Yeah. Man, that's pretty dope, dude. I Land like that. Race. Man, dude, look at all this. It's just and the fact that Brian Bowen looked like he inked it himself too. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. His his inking is uh, is pretty incredible, man. It's like it, it, I, I got reminded a few points of like like Toth, Alex Toth sinking, oh, yeah. where he does like a lot of uh, really strong composition work. And a lot of like heavy blacks in the backgrounds and and like stacking dark on light dude um, and like this is an arena that he filled up with people just like little squiggly lines right there almost like just little lines little lines but they give the silhouette of a person which is pretty dope i really like that and when you think about it you he couldn't zoom in on this <laughs> this is something that he was doing by hand with a very fine tip uh, marker or fine tip pen Yeah, I wonder if he uses brush or or if it's a pen. Probably a little bit of everything. Oh, I would, I bet. Like in the larger areas, probably a, a, like something like this. That's probably a brush. These little things has to be like a little fine like pen. That's. But again, I'm not a cartoonist, so I'm, I have no idea. I'm just kind of talking from observation here. Ah, dude, and the panel. Not only that, the panel layout too is incredible. So cool. Really innovative. There's a lot in here, man. Honestly, every single page turn is like, wow. I just love this, the use of the blank space here. How he does this to lay out the panels and everything. It's, it's incredible stuff. I'm just gonna skip for you a little bit. Three Stooges right there. I wonder what his schedule was. You think it, like monthly or? It couldn't have been a weekly thing, right? That's a good question, man. That's something we would have to get, uh, get, get a hold of him and ask him, it's like straight up, like, man, what, what was your schedule like for these things? Oh, that's cool. Stippling. Well, the um, 
at the bottom where it tells you the publication dates, I'm sure you could probably. Uh, well, I think turn this is there. a February issue, and the one before was, uh, I think it was a January, but I'm not sure what the exact. 218. But I mean, on his first ones, maybe they didn't have them on like regularly. Oh, possibly. Uh, 211. 211. Oh, so that's like that's a week days. apart. Yeah, yeah. A week wow. apart. So these were weekly. That is a schedule right there, man. Mm -hmm. Could you imagine composing and then also inking? And... I love this panel right here. This wow. is so dope. And you get that after you get this. That's so cool. And then again, more amazing. And then when the, the story's done, you get that each time. Yeah. To let you know the story's done. You see, and what I like too is how well he captures Mega City 1. Mm. It's like you can definitely tell this is an enormous city. How many stories above the ground are they? This is, and again, just the size of the city itself. Like you see all the people standing right there for scale. It's incredible. He's like uh, fully formed, you know? Like this is as good as any Brian Boland I've ever seen. And it's like, this is right at the beginning of his Judge Dredd work. Dude, you're right, huh? Right there, that's a beautiful sight silhouette. You wanna see it too, Ray Ray? <laughs> Get the kitty down. She's up now. I wanna see too. And of course the chopper. Get to the chopper. Unlike Lobos. <laughs> chopper that we can. <laughs> Doesn't even get a cool one. This is a cool one. What do you mean? Lobos Lobos Chopper is sick. Not the OG one. No, I know. <laughs> like Mount Rushmore and then you get. That's awesome. This is beauty country. to see um what a script on something like this look like because like how, how much is actually coming from the author versus Boland I bet a lot's coming from Boland oh definitely I like how he draws his animals too this guy's just well rounded man mm -hmm. this is a hell of a book I'm trying to get Bryson. to Oh my god, look at this one. This opening right here. Imagine picking up the magazine. This is the opening page right here. Opening spread. So cool. Where do you tweak story? Where, where do you get the reference for, the for that thing? <laughs> what is that? An R bark? I guess, yeah. I'm watching <laughs> Arthur, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Arthur was around when this was being made. <laughs> so Arthur copied Brian Boland is what you're saying. There you go. This right here is what? Is this it? No, no this isn't it yet. This isn't it yet. Dude, but also all of the stuff that they put on Dread, like you gotta draw that every single panel, dude. Like all of his equipment. My wrist is hurting just watching looking at this. You think that's why they do a lot of close-ups of his helmets? <laughs> <It's like laughs> it's possible. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, but then boom, you got multiple. And imagine on the page where you got multiple judges. Oh yeah, that eagle has got to be so freaking hard to draw and like in perspective on the shoulder every time. Mm-hmm. And he does it so. I love his spaceships too. That's one of those things I like seeing artists do is take on his um, the different type of vehicles for that world. Again, as amazing as this is, I want to skip forward to a couple of the pages that stood out to me. Yeah, of course. Especially when we get to, um... oh, this is nice. You could have done a um, leather head. <laughs> that would be cool. Yeah, has he ever done a, a Turtles book? I would like definitely be down to check that out. That's a good question. That'd be fantastic. He does Hillbillies really well, too. 
thought that was Alfred E. Newman. Oh man, that's possible. <laughs> <laughs> Hold it in half, see what it does. <laughs> Please don't. Yeah, I'm just kind of going through this a little quickly here. I know it's, we're skipping over a lot of amazing, oh man, this is. Look at that. That, that one panel insane. would take me a week to draw. But this is so cool because I like how he just, it starts to disappear like that. And then do, 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 you get more detail right at the front. That tree dude. This tree dude, dude. I would imagine this is Lego when he's out in the garden going for a walk. Absolutely. And again, what's really fascinating about these and what's really cool is that they're all really quick, like five, six page stories. Really quick in and out. And you get a lot of meat on those bones, man. Yeah, you do. They feel yeah. complete. What the heck? <laughs> Here we go. This is where it starts to get for me. For me. Next it's program. Right there. Judge Dread. Judge Death. Judge dude. Death. Part one. Wow. And I actually learned tonight that he was the creator, co-creator of Judge Death. I didn't know that. Him and John Howard. Yeah. And uh, this is a first appearance of the Judge Anderson as well, which one fifty is this for her first appearance. So I think this is one forty nine, mm -hmm. and then one fifty. But it's, it's in the part same of the story. same story. Same right, story. Right, right. Yes. Very good. But what were you saying about that? Like they're like that. No, somebody needs to make that. Yeah, badge, we need, we that, need that badge mm -hmm. ready. Yeah. I'm shocked. I'm sure maybe somebody's made it. We just missed it, but I couldn't find anything. It's interesting. These, this issue is like a lot darker than the other ones. Too. Yeah, it is. A lot more black, less uh, zip oh tone. God, dude, look at that though, man. I love, look at all this, man. So good. He's a force to be reckoned with, man. Judge Death is a force. And there's Judge Anderson. Nice. But there is, where's that one panel? Oh, it's something similar. Was it this one? No. No, no, there was another one, right? It's the fear and loathing one. It's coming, I think, somewhere around here. Incredible story, though. Oh, yeah. This is a pretty iconic one. Yeah, the monster twelve with it. Sacrifices herself. If you if you never read that story, definitely yeah, check it out. It's a good it's a good spot to start. That is two thousand like AD one forty nine and one fifty one. And again, it's quick. It's like, what, what was that? 10, 15 10 pages, pages 10, 12 pages. It's such a quick story, but it's so heavy. And so there's so much that goes on, but it doesn't feel overwhelming, which is a, te which is a testament to the talent of John Howard and how he paces the story out really well. Totally. But a lot of these, that's what I was finding shocking, man. Just kind of looking through and skimming through a couple of the stories, how heavy, how deep they are. Again, I love it. That big, big ass shit. The Blackbird. Awesome. I wonder what these guys were reading. That was like, what their influences were. PTSD. EC stuff. Comics. Oh yeah, dude, it's gotta be EC. Jack Davis definitely was probably influencing some people. Cause this isn't like, yeah, that is very wild. It's a dude on acid. And again, man, how he goes, draws some monsters, draws some disfigurement, and then he just draws a perfectly well-proportioned frog. <laughs> <laughs> and then back to drawing, drawing Dread. So this is honestly a man of many, many, many talents. So cool. Man, and I want to kind of, I know there's a lot of great stories here, but I want to kind of go toward the, um, this was a page that Isaac was just... Well, I want to show this off first. Oh, man. These are so cool. Just been judged. Sentence was death. And it says so fear and Like, look at, look at the... Just all the black. And how did he come up with all that? Like, it's just amazing. 
had to light a guy on fire for the room. Yeah, right? <laughs> and then right here, like, all that shading. How did that come to, like, how did that come to your mind? And like, oh, I'm gonna draw it. And you just see the grill of his mask and that one eye. As this folds over here on the side also. What are you gonna do? Yeah, that's so true, right? Like it's, yeah. you don't, there's no detail on this mm -hmm. guy. It's just it's like five lines and it's like a whole figure. That's yeah. crazy. So good. Got some rights and feel vibes right there. Definitely. Yeah. And then here too, same thing. Like, how did he come up with that? It, it doesn't look like he takes shortcuts either mm -hmm. with the white. He's no, not like using white not. media to no. go over. No. This is really cool. He just loves to draw crowds, huh? And then burns all these people. <laughs> <laughs> and then once again, here we go. Look at that, that's four dark judges. That's mm. dope. So that's our next con cosplay. Is the... But uh, you get to do the fire guy. <laughs> oh, sweet. <laughs> I always want to set myself on fire. <laughs> Man, look at that. Sick. Yeah, this is fantastic. Dude. This... And again, we're, we're skipping, and I love the rain too, the way he draws the weather. And then the ashes right there. The lettering. It's such a beautiful book, man. Like this is definitely one of those you want to study if you're looking to draw a fight scene in the rain. Like just this page alone. Right. From going into water, coming out, fighting. He's flying and he's got the droplets coming off his feet. Like, dude, this is an incredible study right here. And then we get into the painted. We get some color. And he painted this himself too, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's the only art robot on this credit. He is a robot, man. Look at this. Truly, Good. these can't be weekly. <laughs> <laughs> if they are, man, I'm like... Let's pack it. I think this is from an annual, though. Actually, this is from an annual. If I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, it's from an annual. Okay, so. right on. Game him a little extra yeah you know when he's not working on the other ones that's so good and these aren't digital either we've seen some of these original pages at comic con that's why they're worth 15 grand yep and here we got more robots Cool character designs, man. Yeah, it is. Prince Robot here is a. Uh... This is Walter the Wobot. Walter the Wobot. Definitely has the vibes of a uh, Mad Magazine. Yeah. Let's try to forget who the artist is that did that in Mad. We got a few. Um... Yeah, and then all the covers. These are great. Oh my god. You know sometimes when they say Judge that, Death lives. They say sometimes when you, know, you go to a table at a restaurant and everybody's being real quiet, it's because they're really enjoying the food. Mm -hmm. It's like we go really quiet and we're looking through this book because we're really just enjoying everything. Right. Just loving the art. Oh, and that's the uh, cover for number one, the Eagle Comics. Oh, man. That's badass. That is so cool. to look through this book all day. Like that flash. 
trash cover. Look at this one, dude. Oh this my one. god. This is so good. This is the annual. It says program 848 so chances are. That's dope. Like, where did he come up with that arm being on fire like that? Oh, that's so cool. Predator versus Judge Dredd. What year is that? 1997. 97, man. This guy was so, killing it for almost 30 years. From the 70s. Yeah. Yeah, from the 70s and 97 to now. He's still doing good, mm -hmm. good work. 2006. Oh, this is the cover. 2012. Yeah. Grant Morrison wrote this script on this one. Judge Dredd, Crusade in the Frankenstein Division. So I wonder if this is when he switched to digital. It looks like it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm Walter Trying. Judge Duet. So does that mean his name is Walter? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Spicy. I was looking at this, not at that. <laughs> Ooh. Tweak. There you go. There it is. But a fantastic pickup. But in addition to this awesomeness, this collected edition actually also has a Our set prints. of 12 prints. 12, you say? Yes. And it's a lot of the same books. Uh, it's a lot of the same ones that you saw in there. I'm just kind of blown up a little bit. So you can pin up. You can pin them up. Get them signed by him. All 12. If if he ever comes over to the States, best believe I'm taking this whole portfolio and having him sign them all. Just go over to his place. Yeah, I just sure. come to you. Let's we'll go over to his place. <laughs> Dressed up like that. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Anderson. Anderson. <laughs> Gaze into the fist of bread. But yeah, yeah, man, this is good incredible, pick up, dude. I'm good stoked. Pick up. IDW did a fantastic job with this, man, for real. And like I was saying earlier, like they could have just put that in an envelope and called it a day, mm. but instead they went the extra mile and put it in this hardcover to go alongside with it. And it's That's just so nice. Gorgeous. And then like it, they could have just made it all black too if they wanted, but no, no they didn't cut corners, they didn't on, cut this corners on this at all. So well, dude, kudos, Brian Bolin, dude. dude, can't cut corners with Brian Bolin. Mm. Kudos to so. you. Thank you guys for Good checking job. this out. We will definitely be on the hunt and look out for more of these types of collections. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, check out the comic key, man. Check Remember out our to YouTube. check out our spread shop. Our Instagram. TikTok. TikTok. Make sure you like, uh, you leave a like and comment. You know, what is your favorite Judge Dredd issue? Is this something that Brian Boland did or is it something that another artist and did? And is that death uh, badge out there? Let yeah, us know. yeah. Let us know if you see it anywhere. Send it to us. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Until then, we're in the common cave and we're out. Woo!